Put that one to the side for now as well. Yeah, so I don't see... There's no silver in this roll. But... I'm checking every single dime because some I miss I miss a lot of um I miss a lot of fines. So that's a proof reverse, and I need to check and see if that condition is genuine or it's like something that's been cleaned. That's kind of interesting. And then we also got a an off center oh, dropping dropping stuff. Yeah, there we go. We got an off center one. Yeah, so school hasn't started yet. It's starting like a day. Not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow it's starting. According to when I'm filming this. Oh, no. I mean, even, even, I don't need, I, I still, um, I still, you know, I'm going to pull these up towards me, so it's easier to see, um, them, eh. I'm going to pull these up towards me, so it's easier to check for any silver, because I'm just checking them off camera, just in case, there's a 15, sorry guys, I know you guys don't get to see, but, it's just easier doing it like this. It's easier for me to see what dates I have. I'm just gonna flip them all over on their on their obverse side. Well, that might have been a 63. It's not. It's a 65. Well, I was hoping. Just flipping them all over to their re uh, obverse side so I can see the dates easier. Alright, so it doesn't look like... I'm fairly certain we don't have any silver. I haven't found a 2009 dime in quite some time. It has been a while. I actually thought that might have been silver right there, but it's not. Alright, so nothing in there. I like dimes. They're very fun to search. Well, they're not technically fun to look through because the dates are so tiny. Um... Let's do the nickels now. I saw one that was, um, kind of had like a broken, broken edge to it. What is it? It kind of was like broke open. I do see a dark edge in there, so we'll check that out. Yeah. I'm going to pour them out like this just to... That one looks discolored, but it's probably not silver, no. I'm just checking all the discolored ones. Okay, there's a little bit more in there. Oh. Ooh, there's a lot of gross ones. 58. Got an oldie here. I see a bunch of worn ones, too. This is kind of odd. Well, this is a really odd roll. Look at this. A lot of discolored and disgusting. So I should name the vi ti video title "Discolored and Disgusting." The '84 is worn. Thought that actually. Wow, that's weird. Kind of odd. Kind of an odd roll. Let's uh, let's do let's do this one. Some of the roll looks worn down. Making me think that these coins might have been... Uh, 
kept somewhere for a while. I don't see anything. I see this, this light colored one. No, it's nothing. Don't see anything. I'm just checking some of these, a couple of these ones. All right. All right, let's check. I'm hoping we have, I haven't found a buffalo in so long. We got a Canadian, I can already see it. I haven't found a Canadian nickel in a decent amount of time. I found 2003. I found a lot of Canadian pennies, a ton of those, and a ton of Canadian, um, that's a really nice 69. It's a D, though. I probably would have kept it if it was an S. It's not old, it's just discolored. A lot of older looking ones, but they end up just being not old. Right. Some interesting coins coming out of these. Hoping maybe a war nickel. I really want to get my a buffalo because I haven't gotten a buffalo in a while. It's been maybe like a year and a half, two years, something like that. I don't see anything that's dark that could say silver. Oh, we got more of this weird roll. This kind of discolored, disgusting roll. It looks kind of, no, it's not. A lot in the 70s and 80s, I'm noticing. You know, with the, with the usual mixed 2000s and stuff, but a lot of the ones, I'm not seeing too many from the 80s. Or 90s. A lot of them are in the 70s and 80s. Well, I'm still gonna upload this anyway, just for the heck of it. There's nothing that cool in this one. Alright, last roll. Can we get 52? We did get a 58, but I'll check if that upgrades my album. But it's in pretty. It's pretty worn, so I don't know. We'll see. Let's do this last one. I pretty much just have the coins dumped out, so I'm gonna attempt to get it in my all in my hand. Uh, ooh, there's a we got an we got a foreign coin. It's not a Canadian because it has a reeded edge. We got a foreign guys. Um, I'm gonna pull I'm gonna pull it out. Um, can you guys do you guys see it? It has a reeded edge. Well, I'm gonna take a that look at that one last. But I'm going to take a look at these first. See, so yeah, that's going to be a foreign coin. It's going to be foreign. I don't see anything else. Alright, so I'm just going to... I'm going to pull them off one at a time. There we go. Um, Jamaican five dollars, nineteen ninety six. Now I know for a fact that um, Jamaican currency is way lower valued than American currency, so this is not not five dollars in U.S. coin value, but it's still a cool coin. I've never found one like this before from Jamaica. Kind of an interesting uh, coin. We got a foreign, got a cool looking foreign. I'll make a good thumbnail picture, too. It's the exact same size as a nickel. It just... Believe me, guys, it's not worth $5 in U.S. value. I looked it up. But look at that. I saw that. I dumped that in my hand. I saw that in the roll, and I was like, what is that? So, that's a pretty cool coin. I've never found a foreign like that before. Um, and I'll check. We've got a 70D... It's a proof reverse. I gotta look up how much these are. And then a 1990 Philadelphia that has uh, an off center. Is her that is off center? I might keep that. It looks like it might be enough off center that I might keep it. We'll see. The 72s does look kind of odd.
I don't think it's a proof, but I'll wipe it off. I'll do some research on this stuff. Um, all of it, really, because... But I th I'm pretty sure that's a 70 proof reverse. You know what, let me look up what these go for real quick. I'm just looking up the values of these in good shape. Hmm. Well, I'm going to keep it, because it looks like it says some value over 10 cents, so. It definitely is in better shape than when I usually see them. But that's kind of cool. I didn't expect to get that foreign in there. It's definitely a 70 proof reverse. It, I can't tell if it's been cleaned or it's just in pretty good shape. Yeah. I'm going to hold on to it just in case I find something more about it. Um, this one I'm going to keep because it's an off-center strike and I like to keep those. I'm going to check. I'm just going to throw this back. I can't, I, it's not the double die for sure. I can tell and it's in pretty grody shape. The 72 I'm going to check under a uh, under a loop as well. Don't think it has any doubling, but I'll pull this to the side for now. Um, 72 has an interesting color to it. Don't think it's a proof, it's just... Eh. I don't think it is. Yeah. But yeah, so the only oldie we got was the 58 Denver Jefferson Nickel. We got the Canadian, we got the, the uh, foreign from Jamaica. And we got the off center, or that's the 70D. And then we got the uh, 1990 dime that's an off center strike. So, yeah. It, I didn't get any silver, but we got an interesting foreign that I've never found before. Um, it's kind of cool. And I don't know. All right, guys, thank you for watching. And I'll catch you in the next coin roll hunt or whatever. I don't know the next time I'll be coin roll hunting. Considering, I don't know the next time I'll get to a bank, really. Um, mainly because banks have been more stingy about um, getting coins. Um, and also, um, I don't know the next time I'll even get to one. So, But still... Um, this is a good thumbnail picture right there. All right. See you guys in the next one. Bye.